what I'm doing is, let's say he's kind of passing or he goes in a pass. I grab the shoulder here, okay? And from here I can move out, I can move in, right? Put down on a, yeah. So let's say he's here, he's passing, right? This right here can keep him away, and I keep him away. So then from here, as I pull him, usually they somehow like kind of pull back the posture because they don't want that posture broken, okay? So here you're pushing and you're pulling. So as I pull, he pulls back, and you come up, okay? But it's like a dynamic pull-push, and as they're falling, you pull so that you don't lose contact with them, and you come up, usually you'll come up in a three-quarter mount which is fine. I don't care about any of that right there because the most important thing is that you actually got the top. Whether you're here, let's say you're here, let me start here. So as he's slowly passing here, go ahead. Even there it works. Because what happens is, is that you just gotta use your opposite leg. So your right hand grip, left leg. You just gotta block his right leg and maybe his right arm. But you gotta punch him. You can't just sweep him. Because like, if I'm here, how unrealistic is it? I can't even do anything here. By the time I get here, I don't even have any control. Here, okay, I can pull him in, I can push right here. So as we're here, and I feel him advancing here, I pull, and even there, it potentially works. It's tough to create the scenarios from which this kind of works. Even when he's passing standing, he's bent over here. Look, even when I go here, look, look him up, look, 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 look. And you push him over. And then I realize it's basically this, you know? Except from the down position. That is by far the most effective takedown you can do in, in a competition. So, come here. so one person's gonna be passing. I typically you grab the knees, but you need to kind of create space right here. I prefer not to have a thumb in here so that my thumb doesn't get stuck. So I'm right about here. So I can kind of push the shoulder here. I'm pulling, okay? Yeah, and you feel him pull up. So as I'm pulling, he begins to posture up. Block. Basically throw. It's like a judo trip throw from the ground. Is there an angle of your arm to 12? Nine. Prevent and try to swim over for like an arm bar. From which position? Did you go over his shoulder? Let's say, we're, let's say we're here, right? Yeah. I want to get here, yeah. right? So which arm? I mean, uh, as I as as I look, it seems to me like he, he there is a potential he could swim as left underhook and try and, and try and attack your right elbow. Uh, you know, my, I mean, he possibly, could, I don't think he has the angle. Go ahead, so we That's what I was wondering, the angles, yeah. yeah. He doesn't have the angle, yeah. I can always bend it. You know what I mean? Because I can always bend the, bend the angle. So, as we're here, another thing you want to do, you want to use your feet to disrupt and block. You want to block, you want to hook, you want to hear. So that, otherwise, if my feet aren't here, let's say, where are they going to be, here? So yeah, it's just free ride of passage, you know what I mean? This ain't the Red Sea and you ain't Moses, okay? So look, so we're here, right? So as he slowly starts passing, pull him in, and then you sweep him. However you configure it, it's like a manual transmission sweep. It's all a matter how you ride it. If you're gonna be weak with it, it's gonna be weak. What task is the guy on top to try to do? You know, He's stand up here. Whatever pass they do, he's got to get to your knees. And you get to his shoulder here. But I'm blocking here. Because look, I have a hand here. I can get here. I can pull him in. So it's got these multiple possibilities. But the most important thing is the grip and a block. Pull, punch. You're pulling from 12 and you're punching the F. F Shoot for nine o'clock, you'll probably hit 10 o'clock. As long as you're punching him across and blocking him on the opposite side of his body. From close guard, it looks like this. 
here, breaking the posture here. Essentially, I like that. Way more effective than a scissor sweep because everybody knows the scissor sweep is coming. But this is pull, push, pull, push. It's not going to work if you don't do the pull, push. Because the pull, pull, pulling creates a reaction, pushing creates a reaction, and then you get it moving. Because if I just try to do it from here and he's not moving, if you don't move, I can't, I can't, it just, it won't work. So I got to get him to move whichever way. And then whatever you do with it, now it's already up to you. Okay? So let's start with this so you get the mechanics of it. Start with closed door. Same thing. Breaking the posture. Look, he's strong right here, right? I'm going to lift him up and over. Look. Here. Now I'm pulling. He's posturing up. Scoot your hips out a little bit so that your knee can get into the shoulder. It doesn't have to be across the body like a scissor sweep. All I need to do that right knee needs to be in the armpit just so you can push him to your left. Every time I hit this sweep on you guys, I clip it and I send it to Master Carlo. I say, see? Good look. It works great from open guard. From closed guard, you have to open the guard. Because what I realized, do, to do it from closed guard, you don't have enough space in order for your leg to properly create a spot where it can push. So as we're here, let's see, go here, and I'm here. He's posturing up, let go on your elbow, scoot out, pull, and push. If you're too close, it's not gonna work because your knee is gonna be up. <coughs> Meaning your knee won't be in the proper position. So look, we're here, same side, cross, same side. Look, I pull him in with the legs, I'm pulling him into that kickstand, but watch, I'm gonna go this way and then down, look. You don't have to slap the shoulder like that, but like he postures up. I don't remember where my right knee went, but it went. your right knee was on the outside because I've been watching. Yeah, you think you're coming from closed guard, you're yeah. doing more of a scissor. Open guard, you're doing more of a hook sweep. Interesting. Okay, so look. Here, here. So he's posturing up. Come up on your elbow, he postures up. Get out this way here. So I at minimum want this. So it bumps him. In over. An armpit. Yeah, yeah, at least in an armpit. What you don't want. You do not want to do this. And as he postures up, because that has no power, it's all groin. You want to be at least here. So as I pull in, I push over that leg. So just try it from a closed guard. All right, ready, one, two, three. It works in a matter of seconds. I mean, in that little split second opportunity, window of opportunity. 